if, you know, let's say she only had that hour, okay, now she's got to go back home and go to bed. If things are going good, she's going to extend her bedtime or she's going to say, yeah, fuck the bedtime. And she's going to end up banging you for potentially hours, right? And then, you know, sacrifice some of her sleep that night or whatever. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle, your dating and relationship coach to help get you more women, a higher quality of women, and eventually find your dream girlfriend or build up your dream rotation. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do when she says, I'll let you know. Okay, this comes when you ask, when is she free to meet up for a date? And she says, I'll let you know. Okay, and you're left feeling like, okay. Should I check back in later? How long should I wait here before you let me know? And as the days pass, you can grow more and more uneasy and then you don't know what to do and you're kind of lost, okay? So I'm gonna tell you how to properly navigate that situation when it happens. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to my channel and not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for alerts and new videos every single day. Okay, so point number one is what does this actually mean when the girl says, I'll let you know? Okay, I get asked this question all the time on my week mentorship program. It's a common response that girls can give. Now, it can mean a bunch of things. Okay, number one, it could just mean that she doesn't know her schedule fully. She's very busy, there's a bunch of moving parts, and she doesn't want to commit to a time because she might have to cancel it later or something might come up, or there may not even seem to be a free time available, okay, from her end. So that's number one. Uh, she also, number two, she might be you know, waiting for her work schedule to come out. So she's not gonna know until her work schedule comes out. She's not gonna know until some event happens, whether that be a work schedule, whether that be her having to speak to someone about something. Um, she won't know until that is figured out, okay? Or it could just be low interest. It could be just, oh, I'm not sure about this guy yet. Um, I'm just going to say I don't know because I don't really want to commit to a time because she doesn't have enough investment or comfort built up yet, okay? So I'm going to go into the strategy of what you can do to greatly increase the chances that you can still get a girl like that out on a date that's being wishy-washy about setting plans, okay? But before we get into that, I want to urge you guys, I'm running the best program in the industry by far, my eight-week mentorship program. You can click the link in the description and that will put you on a 30 minute call, okay? You can select a time that you're available and we will go over all the details on the free call about how we can max out your skill level in this game very, very quick, permanently. We're doing it with guy after guy after guy. We're just churning out beasts. This has never been done before in this industry. Most guys went to company A and failed, usually real social dynamics. Company B and failed, usually something like Todd V dating. A company C and fail, natural lifestyles, and, and so on and so forth. And they bounce from company to company, and they're not getting results. They're not getting laid, etc. We solve that problem. We get guys laid very fucking quick. As you hear all the testimonials, guys are getting laid on week one, on week two, etc. And, and then they can repeat that for life. Okay, so do not hesitate. Jump on that free 30-minute call, and we will speak with some of you guys soon. Here, I'm on the seven week and I already got six lays. Two of the girls are in my rotation. One of them, I'm having like fucking amazing connection with her, which I didn't experience in years. Okay, so uh, moving right along to point number two, what can you do when the girl says, I'll let you know, okay? So I like the word tentative. The word tentative gives you language that lowers compliance threshold. So whenever you ask a compliance test, in this case, when are you free to meet up, and she says, I'm not sure, you can lower the compliance threshold so there's a, a relative less jump by saying, okay, well, what's a day and time that we can tentatively plan for? Okay, so I usually respond, I'm busy too, uh, when can we tentatively plan for? So that means she's not having to fully commit to it and it's easier for her to just say, oh, okay, maybe um, Wednesday at seven. Okay, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, cool. 
Then what you would do is you would go on your calendar on your phone, the built-in calendar, and you would put on Tuesday the day before, uh, like verify with girl's name. Okay, so then you, you get to Tuesday, you see this calendar reminder. Hey, so and so, uh, so are we good for tomorrow? Does tomorrow look like it's gonna work? And either yes, it does, or no, it doesn't, or she's still not sure yet. And then you check in again on the day of. Okay, but that's gonna get you part of the way there by getting her to agree to a tentative time that you guys can plan for. Okay, along with that, you can also dig into her schedule. So let's say you're like, when's the time we can tentatively plan for? And she's like, well, I'm not really sure. Uh, there isn't really, you know, I'm not really sure. I don't want to commit to anything. Uh, things are all over the place, um, blah, blah, blah. If she says, I'll know more information on day X or later on today or whatever, once she gets her schedule or talks to some person or whatever, or if she's out of town, I'll know, I'll know when I'm back in town in three days. Then you go to your calendar and you put the calendar reminder for, okay, she's back in town or she got her schedule. Now check again. Now there's new information. Okay, so that's how you would handle in those cases when there's some event that's going to happen that's going to give her more clarity on her schedule, okay? However, if that's not the case and she's just generally like, oh, you know, I can't even tentatively plan for something it's, I really can't say for, for sure right now, you can help do what I refer to as basically creative problem solving in determining a time in your schedule. So you can say stuff along the lines of, okay, what time do you usually finish work? She says, okay, uh, like six o'clock. Okay, can we meet one day after work? No, I usually go to the gym after work. Okay, well, what time are you all done with the gym? And usually I would say like, oh, can you skip the gym one day or can you go to the gym another time one day? But a lot of times they want to stick to their routine. Oh no, I, you know, I have to stick with the gym and, and go on the days that I planned. Okay, no problem. Uh, what time are you normally home and like shower from the gym? Oh, like uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Okay, cool, so let's meet one night after you're all done with the gym. Well, I go to bed at like 10. Okay, so now you're starting to see, she's thinking, okay, she's gonna go to the gym, be all showered, now it's 7.30 or 8, maybe she's gonna eat something, and then, oh, I, you know, there's not enough time to go meet someone and go on a date because she's going to bed at 10. So what I would say in that case is, okay, cool, let's meet for a, a quick drink or a quick coffee or whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. And yes, you can do coffee dates at night and they can order a tea or some other fucking bullshit. And I would say, okay, um, let's plan to meet one day after you're done with the gym. Which day is like the most likely for you this week? Oh, you know, I could possibly make Thursday work, but I'm not sure. Okay, cool. So let's plan for like 8.30 on Thursday, just for like an hour, just so we can get to meet each other. And let's, te let's just tentatively plan for that. Okay, I know you're not sure, but let's tentatively plan for that. Okay, sounds good. So now you go to your calendar, you're heading up the day before on Wednesday, just to firm those plans up the next day. Okay, and that's gonna be uh, infinitely better than she just says, I'll let you know, or she says, I'm not sure, and then the conversation never advances. Okay, so to recap, if she gives you a certain event that's going to happen, like getting a schedule and needing to talk to someone, you put that in your, your calendar to remind yourself. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to create a problem solve with her to try and find a day and or time that can tentatively work Okay, and that you can kind of get yourself like penciled in. And then when that day comes or the day before, you're going to firm up those plans. Okay. So that's like baby stepping in the form of setting a date that works extremely well. And also, newsflash. If, you know, let's say she only had that hour, okay, now she's got to go back home and go to bed. If things are going good, she's going to extend her bedtime or she's going to say, yeah, fuck the bedtime. And she's going to end up banging you for potentially hours, right? And then, you know, sacrifice some of her sleep that night or whatever. So all you need to do is get yourself, you get your foot in the door, okay? Before you were at ground zero, she said, I'll let you know, or I'm not sure, whatever. Now you've set tentative plans, now you've firmed up those plans, now if things go well, she will be willing to bend on her bedtime or how long she can allocate towards hanging out with you, okay? And it's important, as always, to set those dates as soon as possible because the lead is going cold over time and there's not any investment built up yet, so you need to get her out on a date to make things happen so that you can build more investment before the lead goes cold.
Okay, so again, you always want to be setting these for as soon as possible. But that is how you deal with the "I will let you know" excuse. Okay, and alternatively, you can you can dig in and say, well, "What's better for you, weekdays or weekends?" Oh, I prefer weekends because week, weekdays are too busy. Okay, do you prefer afternoons or evenings on weekends? Um, afternoons are better because you know at night I go out with my friends or whatever. Okay, so let's tentatively plan for Saturday at, at one or two. Yeah, I think that might work, but let's check when we're closer. Okay, you're trying to get something set, okay, and get part of the way there rather than nothing, okay? So I urge you guys for the full solution, I have all kinds of tricks like this all the way through the entire system. Uh, you can sign up for a, three, a free 30 minute call and we will go over all the details and answer all the questions for my week program. Also, please subscribe below, press the notification bell, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, and share, and feel free to trade your other experiences related to this and how this would have helped you in the comments. Okay, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.